Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my Coral Island Let's Play. I think this is part nine, but I haven't recorded this in probably over a month. So excuse me if I am rusty on anything, if I repeat myself at all. They actually dropped a massive update for Coral Island whilst I took like a little bit of a break playing it. So it actually feels really nice to come back to this game and see features that I've kind of been questioning questioning like the design decision on and obviously it's gonna happen in an early access game they're consistently working on it and they're taking feedback from their players and this is the time for them to change things that don't work so well add those quality of life updates so this is a really good one and we're gonna go through some of the update not all of it in this video because it is actually mahusive look at this sick new friend we have what's up you can't use bombs underwater i mean i would imagine that would be the case. I think I kind of already knew that. There's this cool little turtle. I want to talk to you. Let me talk to you. Oh, I did not mean to scythe you, dude. Can I not talk to him without bringing him what he desires? I don't even know what this is. Is it a cucumber? Is it a zucchini? Is it a courgette? I've never known a turtle to have cravings before but apparently that is the case in this video game um i also don't think sam's is gonna be open but that's okay because i have a bunch of new coral island things to talk about with you all get in my net cricket in the quiet it's suspiciously loud i don't actually think we have a cricket yet and then there's a little snail so i'm hoping we can Sneak up on this little guy. Uh, voila. Let's grab him. I think we may already have a snail, but this is kind of a perfect opportunity to show you one of the new features. So you actually have a donated symbol. This is so much better than like what, I can't even remember what we had to do before to like access this. But basically it says that it's already been donated. However, we haven't donated a snail. So we definitely need to bring that to the museum. I also have not checked that calendar in so long. What is the day today? It's the 16th. It's Ling's birthday tomorrow. I have no idea what Ling likes. Ooh, this is also a new like UI update. So this is actually the Starlet Town rank. So we're 26 out of 100 to the next rank. We are current rank E. This actually never existed. It just used to be journal and then quest, but now you have this option to look at your town rank so you don't always have to like go see it in the mayor's like little office. So our ocean is F rank. Improve ocean quality by clearing trash, healing sick corals and revitalizing aquatic life. Oh my word. Hello there, sir. I really like how it tells you what you have to do. Cause like when you're coming into this game as a brand new player, it's very overwhelming. Like you lot have noticed it when I've been playing, there's a lot to do and like multiple different things to explore. So this kind of gives you a little bit more focus. Complete the museum's curated collection by donating artifacts, fish, fossils, gemstones, and insects. That's currently on an F rank. I don't know if this is all like averaging out to an E rank. I'm not quite sure how I swindled that one. One. And then heritage, rejuvenate the island by completing offerings to the goddess at the temple. So basically that's all we need to focus on, which is good because I have something for the museum and we actually now get little rewards for donating to the museum, which is so cute. It kind of has like its own little progress system. If you've played Pokemon Violet or Scarlet recently, you know that when you like fill up the Pokedex, like every so often, I think it's maybe like every 10 Pokemon, you actually do get yourself a reward. I think that's the same here. So I currently have donated 30 things to the museum. Even though it's a new update, it's actually like retrofit to what you've already donated. So I have up until this point in early access donated 30. So therefore they're like, we're gonna give you all the past rewards. But let's donate that little snail. And then I think the animation is like new. And then yeah, it kind of counts everything up to your next one which is probably either gonna be 40 or 50. I don't have a Scooby-Doo if I'm gonna make it back to my farm or not. I'm really hoping that I will be able to. I feel, ooh. 
Oh yeah, library books are now way, way easier to get with this update. So once you like hoe the ground, you can actually find books. We'll donate this to the library. I haven't found any up until this point. And I'm like, what, 16 in-game days into early access? So they've definitely reduced the rarity of these. You've discovered a book, visit the library to read it. So I need to keep my eyes peeled. Ooh, yeah, we need to definitely go to Sam's tomorrow. Ooh, it's getting late, but I have my uh, bronze essence, which is exactly what I needed. I will claim that reward. Not gonna lie, I think I have got to like that part in Coral Island where I wanna start streaming it over on my Twitch a little bit more. I kinda wanna like upgrade my tools and things and I might basically download like my Twitch VODs and then like edit them together to create a video. I just think that that's gonna help with progress instead of like having to play it all off screen and then like make highlight videos basically of like fun interesting things that are happening. So if you do want to tune into any of my streams it's twitch.tv slash English Summer. We also have a sort chest function now and we also have quick transfer. Yeah so it takes everything that you already have. <gasps> he wants a cucumber. Plant in spring grows in nine days and produces every three days. Ooh, I'm not too sure how many days left of spring we have but that little turtle just wants one of these so I think I'm just gonna plant one. I wasn't planning on planting these because they yield regular quality so I didn't like want to spam them all and then not have any Oh, I need to make a scarecrow and then I probably need to water my crops. I mean, there's no probably about it. I absolutely do need to water my crops. Damn, I thought coming back to my YouTube channel after Christmas was tough, but coming back to farming life after like almost a month off is definitely the most difficult part. I feel like I've got such manual labor. I feel like that's what discovering a new game sometimes feels like. Because I know Sims like the back of my hand, I don't really have to do any guesswork. Like I know most things in that video game. So like when I come into a new one, I'm like, oh my word, I am feeling overwhelmed. Crows are stealing your crop. To remedy this problem, craft a scarecrow and place it near crops. I have actually just realized that I wasn't using the correct scene. I told you, I've not done a Coral Island video in like over a month. Whoa, cutting feels so much smoother in this update. I don't know if that was something that they've actually like worked on, but that felt way better than it ever has. It doesn't feel like clunky. It feels like my character's smooth with it. But let's get this funky little guy made. There we go. And then, um, oh, we got the rewards as well. I will grab that. I, I think this is the first time I've reached over a thousand. So it was a five by five. One, two, three, four, five. This is all almost a five by five. So I think if we like place him in the middle of here, it's gonna be all good. I think if once this crop grows, we I'll place him here for now. I don't really know what's going on with the UI of this. I don't like how it cuts in. I think that's probably just like a little design flaw. I'm sure someone's probably gonna flag it either on the Discord or like within the community. So I think that will probably be fixed in their next like minor update. Just a little bit annoying for right now because you kind of have to decipher what something is by like reading half the text which isn't the best when it comes to accessibility. But speaking of accessibility, this game actually now has a um, controller function. So if you plug a controller into your PC, you can actually now play the game using a controller. So that's really, really nice in case you were needing it. It doesn't have any customizable like button mapping just yet. So it's just gonna be the default. But if you do wanna play with a controller, you now have that option. I have no idea what Dr. Ling likes. I feel like most people in this game kind of like tulips. So maybe we bring her a tulip. What did I need to do? I needed to go to the library, which I'm fairly sure is in the community center. Apparently, if you go to people, this is a quality of life update that I really, really wanted. You can now find people on the map. So yeah, you just go to people and then say if, I mean, we all know who I'm probably gonna romance when I do eventually start to focus 
focus on that. I mean, to be fair, I very much could romance Raj, which by the way, Raj's pronouns are they, them. I think that was also included in the update. I'm definitely think I'm gonna romance Yuri. I don't know any of her love or hate yet. Ooh, it gives you a little bio. I don't know if I've really checked this out. I don't know if this is new or not because I don't think I've ever checked this page, but Yuri spent years volunteering her medical services for a worldwide doctor's program, receiving little or no pay before settling down in Coral Island. She likes to play chess and pool. We love a genius. Oh, I gave a fly to Ben and apparently he dislikes flies. I feel as if the developers will like give the people whatever they want. Like they deserve it. So big thank you to the Coral Island devs ally. Hey Millie, I've got a book for you, you little bookworm. Um, that's the pet place. So do we donate here or I'm confused. You don't have a book to donate. I do. It told me I found a book or maybe I just have to go to the library. Once you donate a certain number of items, you're welcome to collect your reward. So is my book just like up on the shelf? Section C, farming, getting started. Oh. It's actually not a written book yet, but you can start to donate. I kind of wish that they appeared on the shelves so like you could see where a book was that you've donated, but I'm sure they'll probably continue working on that. Obviously like writing all of that as like dialogue is a pretty big job. So fair and valid that it's not available yet. I actually wanna pop into Ling's lab again to give her her little birthday gift, hopefully. I'm not gonna give her the bronze kelp and then I wanted to check this out because I had not checked this out. I still don't know how we find fossils. I've yet to find one. Upgrade produce quality. Apparently these are super, super handy. Seed upgrade level one increases the chance to yield high, higher quality crops. It takes 50 bronze kelp essence. Then you have plant level one, fruit trees, and also hay. Definitely gonna have to focus on these for sure, but they are like pretty expensive. But I guess once you start getting better quality items, like you can kind of sell them for more as well. So it's sort of like investing in your future. An oil drilling company has been looking into my lab's work lately and asked me about the state of our coral reefs. I think it could be the same company that's moving in this summer. Oh, I'm sorry. Not this summer. It's earlier than that. I think it's actually next week. Pufferfish, is it? Their timeline is still all out of sync. Some kelp is very rare. Sometimes I'll put in a request to Theo and still can't get any. Um, do you like tulips? Yes. Oh, I forgot it was even my birthday. Thank you. She looks so happy. I feel like we just made her app absolute bloody day. Let's see if she actually likes it or if she's just pretending. I feel like she definitely wouldn't pretend. Look, she does like it. It tells you their birthday down here as well. That's really handy. So that kind of means I don't have to consistently check the calendar, but I guess it's only helpful if I know whose like birthday actually is coming up because I wouldn't be like looking through people every single day, like every morning when I wake up. I've already got enough on my plate. Thank you very much. How you doing, Rafa? Upgrading a tool mall? No, not yet. I'm broke. I'm still broke. Getting the right weapon can really help with slaying certain monsters. Actually, how much are the tool upgrades? Because I feel like I haven't looked at them in so long. 2,000 for each. I need to try and upgrade my... Uh, I'm trying to think what would be the best. Probably a pickaxe. It's the money that gets me in this game. I'm hoping that my, um, my black urchins will actually sell for a little bit. Ooh, I got a letter and I didn't even notice. Mole, wanted to give you this recipe for spring frittata. I think this might be the first recipe I've ever had as a little gift. Why is she giving me gifts on her birthday? Not gonna lie, I can kind of get used to that. Don't let the name fool you. You can make this any time of the year as long as you have the ingredients. I will accept that gift. Thank you very much. Unlocked the cooking recipe for tartar. I wonder if this is in my journal. Midnight. <laughs> I forgot that I named my farm Midnight's Farm. <laughs> 
Ooh, we got a skill point in catching. <gasps> and our relationship with Ling went up. Diving, 215. Catching, 89. Honestly, these sea urchins carrying, as are the Pacific oysters. Oh, I've not had a cutscene in so long. I actually missed them a little bit. I actually need to make a kiln so that I can start getting like more glass. But for a kiln, I need 20 bronze ore. Hmm, I definitely don't think I have that much bronze ore. No, I have eight bronze ore. Okay, scrap, get back in there for a second and trash, you can also go in there. I think I'm pretty much gonna wrap this part up here though because all I'm really gonna do is like donate and basically just carry on diving and stuff like that. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I didn't go through like all of the things that were included in the update because there is an awful lot. So if you do own Coral Island, I would definitely suggest like reading through all the update notes to like get the most out of this update because it introduced so many like quality of life features that I know so many people were asking for, myself included. And I'm not even like fully integrated into the like development community side of this game. Like I enjoy discovering it. I don't want to read too much about it because I am enjoying discovering it on my own. I don't watch that many other people play this game unless I need a specific like answer for something so I would definitely go suggest checking that out if you haven't already but thank you all so much for tuning in I appreciate you all like I said I'm probably gonna start streaming this more over on my twitch now just because we're gonna be doing those like same gameplay loops to really like grind through the game which is twitch.tv slash English summer following over there is free you can like turn on notifications I stream every Monday and every Wednesday but if you are enjoying Coral Island over over here please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already I still do want to do the family tree like describing all of the families in Starlet Town and all of that so that video may go up next week don't quote me on it but it's coming sometime probably within January I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one bye now